What is up everybody out there? I hope you all are having an amazing, fantastic day. Well guys, I know this is kind of a weird video because you're seeing this guy right here for the first time ever who used to make videos sitting behind the camera and talking about phones. But anyhow guys, today is a really special day because today I will be showing you people out there that how can you convert your Galaxy Note 3 into Galaxy Note 8 really easily. But before I go ahead and show you guys that how can you do that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any videos which I will be uploading in the upcoming days. So yeah, without any further the talk let's just get right into the video so guys here is the beautiful galaxy note 8 rom in its all glory and firstly this rom is actually based on android 6.0.1 marshmallow and it comes with the galaxy s8 plus and galaxy note 8 features so you guys are going to be having the taste of both of these devices by running this amazing os on your galaxy note 3 and guys in this video unlike focusing on those features which i have shown so many times in my past videos i'll try my best to focus on those features which you guys are not aware of so with that being said let me show you guys the customization capabilities which this ROM offers now if you go ahead and long press on the home screen on the bottom you can see uh, you guys have the home screen settings so go ahead and tap on that under general options I would like to show you guys the grid options which this launcher offers so if I go ahead and tap on app screen grid here you can see uh, you guys are having a variety of different grids here now normally in Galaxy Note 8 uh, you guys can have 5 by 6 grid but with this amazing ROM you guys can have 6 by 6 grid as well so you guys can put so many applications all at a time with this amazing ROM on one page. Now guys I would like to show you the browser which comes with this ROM and here is the browser I have tested it and it works absolutely fine. Now there is one unique feature that has grown over me so bad that it has kind of become compulsory for me to share that with you and that feature is the night mood feature of this browser. Now that feature can help you guys a lot while you are laying on your bed trying to read something so to enable that you guys have to click on this three dot menu after that you guys will find night mood option here so go ahead and tap on that that's gonna enable the night mood of this browser and that's gonna reduce the brightness as well hence making ease for you people to read and one more thing guys I would like to let you know that I have actually uploaded a video on how to install Android 7.1.1 NuGet on Galaxy Note 3. So if you guys are into that go ahead and click this annotation right here that's gonna take you to that video. Anyhow coming back to this from uh, now guys I would like to show you uh, some modifications that you can make to the status bar of this ROM so for that you have to get inside of settings after that go ahead inside of display scroll down until you see status bar additional control so go ahead and tap on that and here guys you can make changes to your status bar so let me enable the second option right here so that's gonna actually enable the seconds to show up in the status bar and honestly that looks really really amazing so the same way you can go ahead and play with the other settings as well here so now guys I would like to show you one of the best features of this ROM and that is the security feature so for that you have to get inside of lock screen and security and here you will find the reactivation lock so go ahead and tap on that and here guys uh, you will have to enter your Samsung account and that's gonna actually enable uh, you to have control over your Samsung device in case your phone gets lost or it gets stolen so the person will not be able to reactivate your device without your permission so pretty cool feature here with this ROM alright guys now I would like to take you to a tunnel where you guys will be bombarded with loads of options for customizing your system so for that you have to long press on the home screen and then on the bottom you guys can see we have the first icon here saying special settings DRX so go ahead and tap on that it's gonna take you to this place now here you can either swipe from left to right or click this settings icon on the bottom to show the settings page now here you guys can make uh, modifications to your system super easily and first of all guys I would like to show you the gestures option so for that I'm gonna get inside of gestures at home menu now here with this uh, option turned on you guys can have custom gestures enabled on your home screen now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set one gesture for you guys so let's just go with swipe up gesture uh, let's just select the action uh, for show recent apps now if I go back on my home screen now if I swipe up 
you guys can see uh, it opens up the app switcher which is pretty cool and same way you guys can have other gestures enabled on your home screen but you might be thinking right now all right uh, we guys can have different gestures for performing different actions but how would we be able to get inside of Avdor then well guys when you will enable the custom gestures option uh, you would automatically get this app drawer button on the dock so this way uh, you can get inside of app drawer super easily so guys you can also change the transitions of your system really easily with this application so for that you have to get inside of animations so once you are inside of animations menu and the screen transition you can see we have transition mode so go ahead and tap on that after that you guys will get a bunch of different transitions here so go ahead and choose the transition which you want to have well i'm going to go with the car transition now if i go back if i swipe my screen you guys can see i have different transitions enabled now so uh, these transitions actually remind me of Galaxy S5 because that phone actually had these transitions. Well, not only that guys, you can also change the speed of these transitions really easily in this uh, animations menu. Now guys, I would like to show you one more cool feature uh, of this ROM and that is the custom text in the dog feature. So with that feature enabled, you guys can have any text under your dog written. So let me just enable that. So here under text settings, you can see it says custom text. So click on that. After that, you guys can write anything here. So let me quickly write phone hive. So after you have written your text, just go ahead and tap OK. If I go back, you can see I have phone hive written under my dock, which of course looks fantastic. Alright guys, now I will stop here talking about the customization options because this list of customization is not ending soon. So I'm leaving this thing on you guys to discover out uh, more and more customization options. Alright, now let's talk about the most common features that you can find in Galaxy Note 8 and Galaxy S8 Plus. Starting up from the edge panel which is working absolutely fine on this ROM. Now if you guys want to add um, more panels here just go ahead and tap on this uh, gear icon so here you can make changes to your edge panels next up let's just take a look at the uh, pen window so here's the pen window s pen is also working absolutely fine now here if you want to add uh, more shortcuts just go ahead and tap on this plus icon all right next up let's just take a look at the always on display so in the notification panel uh, here you will find the always on display toggle so go ahead and tap on that if you want to enable that now let me just uh, uh, lock my phone so here you can see the always on display being enabled and it looks absolutely fine all right next up I would like to talk about the camera application well I have actually installed the Galaxy Note 7 camera application but you guys can also install the Galaxy Note 4 or Galaxy S7 Edge camera application with this ROM now uh, let me just quickly open up the camera application so here's the camera application the user interface is pretty simple if you will swipe from left to right you guys will get this feature menu so if you will swipe from uh, right to left you will get uh, this uh, filter page and I have also tested the pro feature of this uh, camera application and it also works pretty fine yes there are some minor bugs but I hope you guys can easily uh, get over those minor bugs now talking about the overall performance well it is a pretty smooth ROM yes sometimes uh, you will face some hiccups here and there but uh, those hiccups can easily uh, be fixed by a simple restart now talking about the battery timing well guys here uh, you would have to uh, make some compensation because uh, over Wi-Fi and mobile data this uh, ROM consumes a lot of battery so you will have to take care for that but anyhow this is a pretty good drum as it gives you a good choice of uh, customization and uh, functionality and i hope you guys will surely surely like this rom on your galaxy Note 3 so yeah now i would go ahead and show you guys that how can you install this rom on your device all right guys now talking about the supported devices well this rom will not only work on galaxy note 3 but also on galaxy s4 and galaxy s5 and you can check all the supported models of these three phones in the description of this video next up uh, your phone uh, has to have a custom recovery installed and the required one is twerp 
TWRP 2.8.7.0 so if you do not have this recovery once again I have given the download link for that in the description of this video next up uh, you need the ROM itself so I have given the download link for that uh, as well in the description so download it and then save it on your Samsung device after that you have to get inside of the custom recovery so yeah uh, boot up inside of the custom recovery and then I'll let you know what you have to do afterwards so guys when you will get inside of Torp recovery you have to tap on vibe and then advanced vibe here you have to select double cache system data and cache after that swipe to wipe them up next up you have to move to the location where you saved your rom file well for me it's inside of micro sd card so go ahead and select your rom file after that swipe to confirm flashing so guys when the roma installer will open you will be initially asked for the selection of language so go ahead and select your language after that click next click next once again and then you will be presented with the change log so go ahead and uh, read it if you wish to after that click next and here you will get the installation type now uh, if you're installing this ROM for the first time go ahead with the first option if you're installing this ROM just for the installation of certain modes go ahead and choose the second option after that click next and here you have to uh, select your device model number well I'm using a uh, Notary International N9005 so I'm gonna go with that and then you will be asked for the selection of kernel so here uh, you have to select the kernel for your device i have personally used phantom kernel so i'm gonna go with that because it has proved pretty good for my device so for that click next and you have to here uh, select the CSC for your device so for that click next and then you will get a good choice of different applications which you can install uh, on your system so go ahead and choose the applications which you want to have on your device so for that click next here you will get the system UI choice so go ahead and choose uh, what type of system UI you want to have uh, I'm going with the Galaxy Note 8 or S8 themed system UI and you also have the ultra data saving mode and the uh, battery color indicator so I'm gonna go with the white one after that click next and here you will be asked for some more features so go ahead and choose uh, what you want to have and then click next and here uh, you will get the camera choice now uh, I'm going with the Galaxy Note 7 camera but you can also go with the Galaxy Note 4 or Galaxy S7 Edge camera. So after selecting uh, the camera application tap on next and here you will get the sound choice. So same way you can choose uh, what sound application you want to have on your device after that click next and here you have to select your NTP server. Now I'm living in Oman so I'm going to select my region which is Oman after that click next here you have to select uh, super SU so uh, make a selection here after that click next here uh, you have to tap on full vibe one so that uh, you may have the ROM um, with the elimination of bugs so after that click next and here you have to tap on install you can also donate to the developer so here is their email address so if you guys um, want to uh, support the developers go ahead and do that after that click ok so here the installation will begin now this is gonna take some time um, so give it some time and after that you can reboot uh, the system so guys when the installation will be completed you can go ahead and tap on next and then you can go ahead and reboot your system now guys the first boot as usual takes a lot of time so give it some time don't panic about that and eventually your phone will be booted and once again guys reminding you if you guys want to install Android 7.1.1 Nougat on your Galaxy device go ahead and tap on this annotation here and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any videos which I will be uploading in the upcoming days and if you have any queries do let me know in the comments below I'll try my best to answer them and yeah see you all next time in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind.